good morning. Um, going to get this log on there. Uh, show, show you that process. I put four spikes in them. I don't think I've talked about the style of the cabin, but it's a, a button pass uh, style. I'm not doing the full scribe. Um, I just decided to do it this way. Um, should be a little bit faster to complete. Um, and I went a lot less frustration for myself. So one day I'll probably try the full scribe method, but for my first cabin, I just wanted to do button pass because it sounded like it, from what I read, it was it was quicker and uh, easier for a first timer. So that's the way we're doing it. Um, my wife skinned that one yesterday. I tried to video it, but of course, for some reason the video didn't roll. We had 12 seconds of video. So plenty of logs to skin. Hopefully she'll get in, get up here again later today because um, there's always more uh, feeling to do. No, I, fight, I usually put four spikes, these 10 inch galvanized. Uh, I got a 50 pound box of them, not too expensive uh, in each log. So I spike it four different spots. Um, and that's how they're secured down. It makes it really sturdy. I just checked the, the level, of, how level the two walls are, obviously, because working with logs of different uh, diameter. So if I'm, if I'm not watching the, my log uh, diameters on each side, one wall could get built up a lot faster than the other. Um, and then what I've read is you have to make sure you're stacking your levels differently. So you put your big end of the tree on one end on one level and then on the next level up, you, you alternate it. So your big ends on the other, and then you go big, small, big, small, just like that. So your walls get built up uh, evenly. Uh, and mine are pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, we're getting there up five. I gotta start planting my windows here. Um, I think I'm pretty much at the window level. And then I haven't cut my door in, but that's coming too. Um, so, yeah, moving along. So I have a couple extra bags of concrete left over. So we're having this, like I've said in other videos, it's extremely warm weather here in January. So I'm actually going to just do one more uh, footing here, make it concrete. Um, just because I have the material and I mean, it can't hurt. So put one more in here and that should be good for foundation.
got these big old poles uh, peeled and I'm going to put them up here. They're going to be my piers for uh, my roof. They're going to help support my roof. So this will be like the first time uh, I can get a, a view of what the cabin is going to look like. Um, sort of the base of the roof line, uh, especially from our house and see how, how it'll look. I think it'll look pretty good. Um, so let me get those up and take a look at them. I should have saw that coming. Uh, I thought I was flat there on my bottom and it might just sit here for a sec, but uh, my floorboards aren't quite even there, so. Topped over. Yeah, we're a little tall. Um, I didn't account for the pole that's going to come across. So, or the uh, beam. Not bad, man. All right, so I got these, got this Porsche uh, board off, and then I got, I'm gonna put my, my poles through there. Uh, just make, I made a nice tight fit, I believe. And then I got these brackets I'm gonna attach to the pole um, on both sides. I like the black, it looks cool, uh, but it's also sturdy as heck, so. These poles will be sitting up straight in the air for at least till today, or excuse me, at least till tomorrow until I get a, a ridge beam across them. Um, but they should be really sturdy. Um, so I scribed these notches out. All right, took quite a bit of time. I uh, didn't do any video of that, but I'm just going to put these brackets down, put the uh, porch board back down, and uh, hopefully that it it is um secure i mean hopefully it fits it all fits together it's definitely secure <clears throat> Oh, if this worked out first time, it'd be a miracle. We'll see. Ooh, I don't 
think we're far, but. Let's go back. Oh, we're close. This might work. I had to put a red mark on the floor and a Mark on my log here to see which way it fit in. There. Might work. Let's look at the big sledge and <coughs> try that. Oh yeah, we are on it. Sweet. Probably check the other one before I screw.
Yes. <laughs> All right. Sitting on it. Okay. So here's that, how that turned out. I was, this is the one I was having trouble with. It's a real snug fit, but I just really like how they run through the porch and then they're, you can't put them support wise on the floorboard. So it's sitting right on that supporting uh, log underneath. So yeah, they turned out real nice. And,